Yo, what's up, family? What's happening? 630 Thursday. Trying to get a little shopper. What's going on with you? Hope you're having a good week so far. Hope all is well. And if it's not well, that it's getting well. All right. So um, I know it's not going to always be roses every time, or every minute, um, every day. You know, we have our struggles. We have our moments. We have our issues we have to deal with. Some days better than others, but we're going to thank God for life in hell. We're going to thank God that we have an opportunity to live through it, push through it, and um, hopefully we learn from it, okay, and things get better. So um, keep grinding, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep grinding, all right? So um, uh, y'all know how we do every week. Let's go ahead and get it started. Let's get it started. So here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. All right, all right. So, yeah. So, um, as y'all can see, I'm solo this week. She in the other room. She ain't, she ain't getting down with us this week. So, <laughs> no, she has some. She has to do so. She's getting ready to do her thing. So, um. Y'all stuck with me this week. Sorry. But anyway, hey, we back here to make it do what it do. So, uh, hey, look, so, um, you know, a couple weeks ago, um, I said, hey, do a SWOT analysis. OK, uh, remember, we, we we always trying to do this self-awareness, always try to figure out how we can get better, get stronger, um, you know, just trying to figure things out, right? That's what we do every day. We try to con just continue to push forward and learn and grow and do what we need to do, right? And so a couple of weeks ago, I talked about the SWOT analysis. And uh, if you don't remember what that means, that's uh, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. And so for you, use that SWOT analysis so that you can be real with yourself, okay? It's just you talking about you, Okay. Nobody else, nobody else involved. That's your own personal homework assignment, right? And we use that because we have to be real with ourselves. Self-awareness, you know, an analyze ourselves, okay? Only way we're going to make ourselves better is that we got to be real with ourselves, okay? And sometimes we need to write those things down so we can see it, so we can understand it, so we can digest it. And just, again, be real with yourself. Something about writing things down that makes a big difference. Um, when we are trying to uh, accomplish things, when we're trying to grow, when we're trying to learn, we're trying to write it down. It, it kind of brings it to life. It brings it, it just, it, it's something about doing that. Just, it, 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 it matters. It, I can't even really put into words how powerful it is and how um, it makes, how much of a difference it makes when you take the time to simply write it down. And, and one big reason why we had to write it down is because we have so much going on up here that it's hard for us to process all of it and remember everything. So sometimes when it hits us, that's the reason why you probably need to keep stuff with you or, or even use that app in your phone or whatever. Just get it out of here and put it on paper. And, and then you get reminded of it later on. OK, because, again, so much going on up here. This thing right here is working overtime. It's the reason why some of us struggle sleeping or the reason why some of us struggle getting some things done it's because we got so much going on up here. We're trying to process everything. Nine times out of 10, we're going to forget something, right? And, and it comes across our mind and then a uh, 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 day later, hour later, whatever, months later, whatever. And, and we trying to recall it and we can't because so much up here. Put it on paper, okay? Um, but let me go here. We, we, last week we talked about learning. We talked about learning. Um, and that, that kind of ties into the SWOT analysis of we, we learning about ourselves. We're trying to get more understanding, get, um, you know, to some direction. Right. So, um, you know, this week I want to talk about, um, something a little different. Um, but it still all ties into all of that. Um, and hopefully you, you'll get what I'm getting at, but, um, let me let me let me go here. So uh, y'all know, yes, a couple of weeks ago, I'm still excited. A couple of weeks ago. Hey, Mama Jane and David, David, I ain't forgetting about you this week. Appreciate you. Appreciate y'all. So uh, Mama Jane and Pop David, appreciate y'all. So <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I'm still cheesing because of what took place a couple of weeks ago with my graduation. Yes, I'm excited. Um, and uh, again, please make sure that you are uh, subscribing and, and to the to our anti-negativity network um, YouTube channel because all these videos that I put on here uh, that I do here, I put them on the YouTube channel as well. But this week, I'm actually when I download this one and, and I upload it onto the YouTube channel. I'm actually going to put in the description um, the link to my um, graduation speech. OK. And um, but I, I'm saying that to say because um, uh, in my graduation speech, I referred to something that I want to talk about this week. And so um, um, so please subscribe to the Anti-Negativity Network for me. Pretty please. Love you. Uh, but. Um, in my speech, there was something that I talked about. And um, when I went to school, I went to school for accounting and I realized I didn't like accounting. Right. And so um, my major t <laughs> turned from. Um, it, t it went from accounting to time wastage. All right. <laughs> so that was my that was my new major. Right. And so. Um, I got to thinking about that and, um, that's what I want to talk about. Okay. Just for a couple moments. I just want to talk about that. Right. Um, you know, time is one of those things that we can't box. Um, we can't give it, we can't take it. Um, because, um, it ain't guaranteed. Right. Um, but yet because of God's grace, he gives us time. Right. But we just don't know when, how much we how much time we're going to have. You know, we really cannot quantify uh, time. You know, we yeah, we look at the the, the clock. Um, we set a time limit to some things. We have a start time. We have an end time. We you know, we have all this time. But the reality is, please tell me if you can guarantee that, that you're going to have that. Please guarantee, tell me you can guarantee that. Nobody can guarantee time. We just hope and pray that the time that we set, we're going to have that opportunity, right? But what I want to go here, though, about time is let me read my scripture. I want to read this scripture, and then we're going to go into what I want to talk about, and I'm going to get out your way. But my scripture this week is going to come from Ephesians chapter 5, and starting with the 15th verse. And it says this. So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity. This is the one that we're going to hang our head on today. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. So what I say and y'all heard me talk about this. I talked about it for a while, not too long ago. It's talking about God's will, his will for your life, seeking his will. And that's in this scripture, that last verse that I read right there. It says, uh, um, don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. So if you understand what the Lord wants you to do. Then you might want to think about using your time wisely. Right. Um, as, as Mama Jane says right there, time waits for no one. That's so true. But because of his grace, I, I did a little math and I'm just going to talk about Ron here. Right. I'm just that's, I'm, I'm going to put Ron on blast. OK, I ain't going to talk about you. I'm going to talk about Ron. So um, I did a little math. <laughs> and this is kind of my wake up moment. <laughs> like, man, Ron, you could do better. Could have done better. But 16,000. Now, this is actually from the age of seven to today, to my current age. I've had 16,060 days. I had to, I'm, I'm still letting that marinate. 16,060 days. And the reason why I picked that time period which is from the age of seven, because I actually think it's even sooner, but 
I will say I'm just 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 being 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 nice, I guess. <laughs> From the age of seven, we start to make decisions. We start to uh, be in that mode where we can decide if we're going to go here or go there within reason, of course, because I mean, a lot of us, our parents going to dictate which way you're going to go as well. <laughs> they don't have some say so, especially those ones that take care of you. But um, there's still some certain decisions that you get to make. Right. Like. Um, whether or not you want to play this particular sport or play that particular sport, if you want to uh, be a part of this or part of this or do this or do that or go outside or play your video games, whatever, we still learn to make decisions. We learn to make um, choices, right? Um, I still think we make choices even sooner than that. But nevertheless, I guess you get the point that I'm making is that, Ron, you've had from the age of seven, to this current age, which I have no problem telling you, I am 51 years old and I'm thankful to say that. <laughs> but I've had 16,060 days to make decisions on which direction my life goes. That's a lot of time that was not guaranteed. So what did I do with that time? Now, we like to say this as uh, a saying that. Um, hey, as soon as I say, I'm going to say it, it, it escapes me, but, um, um, it, that's it. Thank you. Holy ghost. Everything happens for a reason. And that is so true. Everything does happen for a reason. And some of those things happen because of the reason that you chose to do or not do. Yeah, it happened. And it happened because of the choice that you made. So sometimes we kind of use that as a to get out of jail free card. Um, sometimes we use that to say, um, well, you know, I had no control over that. So it just happened. That's not totally true. That's not totally true. Because I think back over my life. I had an opportunity to get my degree much sooner. And knowing what I know now. Hey, dad, love you. Knowing what I know now, had I got my degree back then, who knows where my life would be now, how much further along I would be now. Right. But because of the decisions that I made back then. I'm paying for that now. Right. Because in my mind, there are some things that should have already some boxes should have already been checked, some things I should have already accomplished at this point. OK. But because of those choices, it hasn't happened. So that saying is very true. But your choices is the reason why. And so what does that have to do with time? Well, again, time is not guaranteed. Can we go back and redo any of those things? Probably not. Because we can't turn back the hands of time as much as we may want to. We can't turn back the hands of time. We only can deal with the time that we have right now in the present. And in the present, we use this time right now to help prepare for the future. Just in case it happens, <laughs> right? Because it's not guaranteed. So how you use your time. Is huge. And he tells us right here in this scripture. I read it to you again that make the most. And this is what I say. I want to hang our head on, which was verse uh, 16. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. So you got to make sure that you focused on what you're supposed to be doing. Right. Uh, Y'all always hear me tell you one of the things that this whole thing that I've been doing for three plus years has been about our goals and dreams. Writing the vision, making it plain, right? That has to happen. You have to do that. And here's the reason why you have to do that, along with that SWOT analysis that I talked about earlier. Because a lot of us, if you're like me, have already wasted enough time. 16,060 days. I'm not saying all 16,060 days were a waste. God knows it wasn't. Far from it. But I look back over that time and I look where I'm at now. Had I did some things differently. 
might be in a better spot than I am now. But yes, everything happens for a reason, but it happened because of my choices. I have to accept that. OK, you have to accept your choices. OK, and we can't go back and redo it. We only can move forward. We only can go forward. So, look, it's like this. What are some of those things that keeps us? From moving forward, what some of those things that keep us from no longer wasting time? One of those things is procrastination, which I'm kind of like the poster child for. But that is past history. We're getting that out. That's on my SWOT analysis. That's one of my uh, weaknesses is procrastination. So my opportunity is to learn how to value my time. Those guys who are um, millionaires, uh, those guys are billionaires. They value their time. If you listen to a lot of them, they value their time. They do not waste their time on things that are not productive. They don't waste their time on things that don't help them get better, that don't help them grow. OK, that doesn't mean you don't have some downtime. You got to have some downtime, but they use their time wisely. They don't use their time for a bunch of foolishness. So we have to value our time. Procrastination is opposite of that. That's the enemy of getting things done is procrastination. So we're going to speak against that spirit. Now, next. I'm going to hit you right here with this one. And I'm included with this, too. But. Social media. <laughs> even though this is what I'm using right now. <laughs> social media. TV. Um, uh, it, 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 even the radio music. We get lost in the music. And what is it producing? Like. What is that TV show talking about, uh, you know, what somebody's wearing or what somebody eating or what? What is that TV show going to do for your bottom line? What is that hour spent on Facebook looking at what everybody else has done and what they're doing and what they're talking about and the foolishness? How is that adding value to your life? How is that adding value to your bottom line? Next, lack of discipline. I don't even think I really have to go in detail on that one, but lack of discipline causes us to waste time. Next, lack of focus, goals. That's why I'm telling you, please write your goals and dreams down. Please write them down. They are so vitally important that you write the vision and make it plain because this is why you need to write it down, because you're going to go through, continue to go through this thing called life, God willing. And you're going to get wrapped up in stuff. You're going to get this going, that going, this going. And this mind just doesn't want to settle down. Right. And then sometimes we get off track because we are so bogged down. We need something to go back and remind us of what we're supposed to be doing and where we're supposed to be going. What is your why? What is your why? You need to write that down, write down your why so you can remember why you're doing what you're doing. But sometimes we get lost. We get caught up in some other stuff that's not productive. We get caught up in some stuff that's not doing us any good. It's not helping us grow. It's not helping us learn. If anything, it's doing just the opposite. It's taking from us. It's bogging us down. It's putting more crap on our table, on our plate that we don't really need. And crap that we don't really don't want. Other people's stuff. You got to know what your why is. Next. Fear and afraid to mess up. And for a lot of us, mess up again. Let's let that one mar marinate too. Fear and afraid to mess up. None of us are going to be perfect. We try. We press towards the mark of the high calling, right? We, we press for it, but we come up short, right? We are not going to always hit the mark, but that don't mean you shouldn't try. And because you missed it, that don't mean you shouldn't try again. 
I think it was the, I forget the guy, I didn't say it before, but he, 99 times he messed up. But he just found 99 ways that it didn't work. He kept going. On the 100th one, he found it. And now that's changed the whole world. Light. Right? <laughs> so you got to keep going. Next. And this one right here might sting a little bit. But we waste time because for some of us, we have gotten involved in something that we really don't want to be involved in. We really don't like. And we just settle. We stay there in the midst of it. And we just can't stand it. Yeah. Some of y'all can. The job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's one of them. That's not the only one, but that's one of them. Only you can answer that question. Only you can check that box. But you're involved in something that's not doing you any good, that you really do not like being a part of. You really don't want to be a part of, but you don't know how to get out. I think it's time you start praying and ask him to help you with that. Next. I had to write these down. Yes. <laughs> Frustration from thinking of the time wasted. Yeah. We look back over the stuff that we did or didn't do, the decisions that we made. And we are so frustrated by it. That we just throw our hands up, say, forget it. Why do it again? Why try again? I just explained that to you, though. He found 99 ways that it didn't work. But the hundredth time he did, and it changed his life. Why can't that happen for you? You got to keep going. Yeah, that didn't. Yeah, you failed. Yeah, you fell flat on your face. No, it didn't work. But if he gives you the opportunity, as he said, take advantage of every opportunity. When the next opportunity comes, it's time for you to take advantage of it. I don't care nothing about your age. don't care nothing about your race. don't care nothing about uh, uh, your, your schooling. Or it, it doesn't matter. There's no excuses. If he gives you the opportunity, you better take advantage of it. Next. Feeling that it's too late. I think I just talked about that. Feeling that it's too late. Uh, the window is closed. My age, those excuses are exactly what it is, excuses. Because I promise you, there is something on the inside of you that you really want to do, that you really, really want to do. So please help me understand why you won't do it. No, help you understand, help yourself understand why you won't do it. No more excuses. It's time to move forward. It's time to stop playing. It's time to stop wasting time. You got nothing but opportunity. He gives you breath in your body. You in your right mind. He's giving you opportunity. He put people around you. He put people in your path. He gives you opportunity. Give you resources. You got enough. What you you got enough right now to get started on what it is. Don't worry about the rest of it. Don't worry about everything. Don't worry about the end. You know what it's gonna. You have a vision of what you want. But it takes time to get there. It takes time. But you got to start right now with the time that's given to you right now. And trust that he's going to give you the amount of time that you need to get there. But you got to get started. I had to get started at school if I wanted to finally reach my goal after 30 plus years. It won't gonna happen until I started, until I did something, until I stopped wasting time. And he gave me the opportunity. When COVID kicked in to make the change in my life to go get my degree. It's your turn. Next and last. Holding on to past bad decisions, disappointments, unforgiveness. And I've talked about unforgiveness so many times on here. And I have to talk about it again. Because that's something that also keeps us from moving forward. It's unforgiveness. And I'm talking about the unforgiveness to yourself. You're going to have to forgive yourself. You're going to have to do it because it's holding you back. And instead of you moving forward, pressing forward, going after it, doing some things, you stand right there in neutral. Looking at what happened in the past and what you didn't do 
and how you failed and how you made a bad decision and it cost you this, it cost you that. Did it cost you your life? Are you still breathing? Are you still able to move? Are you still able to think? Don't matter what your situation around you, you have opportunity. That's another reason why you got to make sure he's a part of the equation because you link up to him and you give him opportunity to work on it. You and get up in you and get you going and get you motivated and get you moving forward. Do you understand how powerful you would be? Do you understand how much more awesome you would be? By just doing what it is he's called you to do. And doing what you want to do, what you desire to do, that positive difference that you want to make. Because I know you want to make a positive difference. But what didn't happen in the past is in the past. We can't go back and change that. We learn from it, but no more pre- procrastination, no more looking back and going back and thinking back and staying back. It's time to move forward. It's time to go do what God called you to do. So. What you got to do, pray, plan, prepare, proceed, and go make it do what it do. I see you next week at 630. Love you.